you're battling to reach the boundary with something like this, imagine batting with something like this. Hey guys, welcome to Sports Republic Reviews, where we give you all the information you need to buy the right product first time. Today, we're going to have a look at the difference between bats from the 80s and the cannons available today. I'm sure you all remember the iconic photo of Barry Richards holding his bat that he scored 300 odd runs with against David Warner's current bat that he uses. That image inspired this video. Here at Sports Republic, we love collecting some of the old relics that some players used to use back in the days. And we've got one of the Duncan Fermi Magnums that's been dropped off here at our store for display. And we've also got a really old Duncan Fermi Attack. These are really iconic bats. And in their day, these were bats that were really, really sought after. Let's have a look at how they compare to the willows available today. So the way bats have been manufactured hasn't changed for many, many years. The wood, English willow, is still used today. The way that they implement the splice and the handle is exactly the same, but you'll notice that the shape has changed very much. This old Duncan Fernley, you'll notice, is extremely thin when I compare it to this focus raw. But you'll also notice is that the bats are made with no curve and the face is fairly rounded if i bring back this focus raw into shot you'll notice that the bats have a lot more curve you'll notice that on this particular model the bat is very straight with very sharp edges and something obvious you'll notice look at the size of the edges on this focus raw the edges on this bat are almost as big as the entire profile on the old Duncan Fernley. So you can only imagine what sort of performance you were getting out of these compared to modern day bats. Another thing that's changed from a couple of decades ago is how they fix bats. You'll notice on this bat there's a synthetic fiber that's wrapped around it. To fix any sort of cracks or imperfections that the that this bat got they also used in the old days that was very popular on the duncan fernies was pigskin they used to wrap a pigskin sheet around the face and that was there to protect the bats nowadays bats are glued together and no implements like dowels are able to be used in international cricket another thing that's interesting to note about these bats even though they're smaller with really small edges, they are substantially heavier. The pickup on this is really quite heavy. And if you consider this focus is a much meatier bat, a lot more wood, it's a lot lighter on pickup than, than the Duncan Fernley. So uh, just as, as a reference, I wanted to find a bat with a similar shape and see what size the bats come in nowadays compared to this short handle that would have been used in professional cricket back then. So I found this Grey Nichols Powerbow 6. This is a size 4. And if we have a look at the difference of these two bats, you'll see that the size 4 is as big as this full length short handle Duncan Fernley. Some of the finest batsmen the world ever saw batted with little bats like this. And today we see some real maestros using some real cannons like this and hitting the ball great distances. Thanks for watching our video on the difference between the modern day bat and the bat from decades ago. We'd love to hear from you in the comments on some of the iconic bats you can remember over the past two or three decades. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.